All right, uh, I put on Facebook this little character here. Yeah, I probably carved a hundred of them or more, way more than that. This is probably one of my most fa uh, not popular carvings among friends and family and stuff like that. And it's the old man or with the, the cane. Uh, I've used a lot of these uh, for people who wanted them for get well. Uh, people that are in hospitals and stuff like that <coughs> get well uh, carvings and stuff like that and I got several letters from people that said would you demonstrate how you carve those little old men with the canes and all that stuff I don't know if I've done a video on this I, I don't I don't think I have uh, I've carved a lot of figures but like I said this is probably the most popular one that I have sold or well, I don't sell but I mean give away or whatever it is or given to people is this one here and this they just seem to love this this carving uh, as you can see it's the old man um, with the cane so I thought what I do today is uh, and I know I haven't carved in a while but uh, I thought what I do is do uh, just a real quick little figure here let me get my um, of how you go about carving this figure. Now, what I have is a simple little three inch figure here uh, that is cut out of one and a quarter inch uh, basswood. And that little pattern, I have the uh, pattern. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just basically how you carve this this little man now um, let me first of all we, we want to of course divide the head from the uh, the head from the uh, uh, bot body I'm sorry I should have turned the phone off I didn't I'm not going to answer that so okay the head from the body okay Something as simple as this, we're just getting the head formed away from the body. We'll just round it off a little bit and then we'll go back to it later. Such a way. I'm not going to put a hat on this one. I'm just going to... Uh, we're getting a lot of rain down here to this morning. Just basically getting this ready. Tremendous amount of rain. All right, now I'm going to stop with that. Now I usually go down to the feet a little bit and I separate the feet. I'm just going to cut this in here. We're going to separate the feet just a little bit. I'm going to cut the shoes down. Just kind of All right, just sort of just basically I'm just sort of shaping all this a little bit. I'm going to go to the body. On each side, I'm going to just kind of come up like this. All right. Now, on one side, I'm just going to put his hands in his coat, okay? Just pretty much simple arithmetic here.
Usually one, one side is the hands in the coat. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Okay, I'm just cutting. All right. Kind of do this. And just sort of, this will be his coat. I like to put a coat on him. Uh, older people usually wear a coat. Not in all cases, but most of them do. All right. Now you can see that basically the form that we're getting here. And now uh, we're going to... Now this is the arm that we... We, we come where the top, as you can see, where the top of the head is. And we just kind of come down like this. And then we come over and come all the way over here and then come down like that. See? Just come down. Come straight over. Because we got to make a place for the hand right in here. And then I just sort of go like this. Now, that's, this hand is going to be... Uh, its arm is going to be brought down because it's way too big compared to this one. Um, but it's going to be brought down, as I, I said. Okay. So, let me show you. I'm going to make a cut here. And I'm going to remove some wood in there. Okay. Then I'm going to make a cut here. Now, the hand is going to be a lot bigger than, than, than normal, but I'm going to cut that down. See that? I've cut this in here like this, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to cut this in here and bring that up like that. Now, I'm going to cut that arm down, of course, and I'm going to cut it further back in, of course, but you start off with a much larger hand and, and arm than normal, and then you can kind of cut it back, is what I'm trying to say, okay? And then the hand is cut here. And then we come here like this, and we remove that. See how the hand sticks out there? Then we can take this and bring it back. See? Then we can take the arm, and we can bring it back and thin it up. See? We want to get the hand established first. And then we can bring the hand down and everything like that. Okay? Bring that down. Bring that down. Okay. Now we're going to bring that back just like that. We're going to bring this up like here. We're going to thin that arm off, in other words. We're going to thin those arms off anyway. But we want to establish that hand. We want to go ahead and get that hand in there so that we can... Uh, and then we can cut it down or whatever, in other words. But we want to get it there. All right. So let's go ahead and bring this back a little bit. So basically, we got our shape formed here of the hand and the arms and everything like that. Okay? So let's go ahead and bring this arm back first. Let's work on this one first. Get it in its uh, a coat pocket. As we do. Cut this in here and then slice, put it in the pocket itself. Okay. Come back here. And just come at an angle to bring where the arm would come up, in other words. And this is where the arm will simply be. And this is where the arm where this will be, in other words. So, okay. Now let's kind of come down with this arm. We're going to bring it down. We're going to thin all this up a little bit. Okay. And we're going to come back a little bit with this coat where it's up underneath here and a little bit in here where we're further up underneath here okay 
let's go ahead and, and come back here and just round off a little bit in the back where the shoes are and where the coat is. All right, so we have our basic shape now, okay? And we can bring this arm down a little bit more. Kind of look at the proportions of your, you know, you don't want your arms to be too big and uh, uh, all that. Bring this all down a little bit. And we're going to bring that arm, thin it up like this. Now, actually, the hand is a little, still a little bit too big. So let's go ahead and make our mark where our hand's going to go. And I'm just going to do this. I just make that little mark right there. And I'm going to cut and come from the inside of the hand so that it looks like this. Okay. And we're going to cut along here and just bring this arm in here. Now I think my time's probably about up with uh, this segment. But we just sort of roughed out now the little piece, just like that. We roughed him out. We've got our positions where our hands and our arm are. And then we, now we go for the detail and we start to work on it like that way, okay? All right. 